curious to see how good this shit shows up. So, I get this a lot. The most important facets of reloading is A, bullet selection. You can shoot anything you fucking want. B, headspace control. C, cartridge overall length. So, ideally, you set up a new barrel. Let's pretend these are Lapui versions, which they are not. This is just some fucking ball shit that's been shot in something else. Anyhow, set up this barrel. It's snuggerish head space. So, color case, lube it, run it through the sizer. This guy's size, I've caught, let's say, 85% of the neck, and I stayed way away from the shoulder. I didn't want to set back head space. So, you want to see how that feels. You want to feel head space. So, with that die setting, miles off the shoulder, obviously. I have positive headspace, which is where I want to be. Color to case, shoulder, and neck here. So I can chamber the round, and then I can see on the datum of the shoulder where I've uh, caught headspace. <laughs> you better catch it on a rimless cartridge such as a fucking 308. Now here's bullet selection. So that's a 155 Skinner. It's set up to kiss the lens of this chop barrel square. That cartridge overall length is about 2885. So that length is too great for a typical short action 700 Seiko, whatever. And no, it's not fucking Saco. Uh, Magbox. But it'll go into DBM easily. It will not go in a true AI. Bindered mag. This one's bindered, converted to 6BR, primal rights. Pretty good way to fly. But it will go in a fucking alpha or accurate mag or whatever. So that's a happy place to be. Uh, I've, I've got, you know, almost a tenth of an inch to chase lands as the barrel fucking wears. So the most important things, headspace control, head headspace control, fucking bullet selection, fucking cartridge overall length. If you can kiss it square, feed it from a mag, feed it a high propellant density, you'll have low ES, low SD, Shit will shoot knots, and shit just got easy by default. Everybody fucks that up, and I don't know why.